my name is Debbie Brown and this is my safety video. This is Mrs. Barton's classroom. As you walk in, you come up here to the front and it's called the presentation station. It includes one computer and one Elmo which is all attached to that projector up there. There are 16 student stations total, each having their own computer, their own keyboard, everything like that, and their own calculator. There's one observation station over here, and there's a printer sitting right beside it. And then if you turn over here, there's one teacher station. Barton's business technology classroom and I will be showing you the safety features today. First off, I'd like to present this evacuation map. It shows um, the routes that students would need to take for like fire emergencies and tornado emergencies. It shows where the fire extinguishers are and everything that would be important in case of emergency that needs evacuation. Down below that is the hand sanitizer just in case there's ever any incident in which a student needs to do a quick hand sanitize and it's right by the door in case anything happens. The next thing I'd like to show is this the, two, the MSDS sheets that I hung up earlier this semester. They include one for the hand sanitizer and one for the printers that are in this classroom. The next thing is this OSHA safety poster that I hung up earlier this semester and it just goes through different things about safety. Another thing is this mat which I've been talking about all semester. It um, is bundles cords up in it so that there are no tripping hazards once Mrs. Barton comes up here. It's a specially made mat and as you saw the cords fit nicely into the mat and that way just over it, it actually is in it and it prevents it from getting your foot tangled or tripping. Another safety feature that this classroom has is that all student desks have um, computers and that they all, all the cords for these computers are nicely and tightly bundled up so that students don't get their foots caught and they don't trip or anything like that. Um, and another general safety feature is that the classroom is nice and organized. There's nothing sticking out that could trip up a student. The other sa um, safety things included in Mrs. Barton's room would be these first aid kits. They, there are three different kinds that she has in here, but they all include the same basic stuff. There's bandages, gauze, eye drops various things that would be needed in case of any kind of emergency. The third one is over here by Mrs. Barton's desk. Those two that I just showed you are usually in this cabinet down there. That little box is actually a cabinet. The third one is over here by Mrs. Barton's desk. It includes the same items, the plastic gloves, bandages, gauze, everything if some a cut happens or anything also I have been told that if there is ever an in intruder in the school the students come to this room right over here the storage room they come in here and they stand in here lock the door turn the light out and wait until it is safe to come out Lastly, there's a fire extinguisher back here by Mrs. Barton's desk. It was last serviced in September and is ready to use. My name is Mrs. Barton and welcome to my classroom. Uh, Debbie Brown has asked that I remark on things that I would like changed in my classroom. Well, being here for the first year, I absolutely love it. But there are a few things, like behind this file cabinet, 
is where the plug-ins are, and that makes it really unhandy to get to. My printer went out, and they had to replace my printer, but we had to wait on, wait on people for maintenance to come and unplug it because the file cabinets had to be moved. Another item I would probably change would be my student stations. They're too close to the wall, and when we added new calculators, then we had to do the same thing. We had to ask maintenance to come pull out the student stations and uh, plug in our calculators for us. So those would be the only two things I can think of I would change. Other than that, I love it here.